Case categorization is an exciting feature within task intelligence. With case categorization, support teams can eliminate managing dozens of inboxes. They can also avoid manually inspecting emails and attachments to set a case's category and priority, for example. This will ensure that work gets routed quickly and that cases are resolved faster. Let's begin by looking at a configured model. Here is the task intelligence admin console. The admin console is your one-stop shop to rapidly configure, train, and deploy AI solutions on the CSM platform. Here we can see different models. Let's go and have a look at the case categorization model. Here is where you define the model's purpose. Perhaps the model will predict case fields based on new emails that arrive, or it will predict case fields based on newly created cases via a portal, for example. You can also specify whether the model should interrogate the attachments. If your attachments have info that you use to route cases correctly, it's important to include them. The model won't know what's relevant unless you tell it. If your attachments have logos, signatures, and other things that the agents routinely ignore, don't include them at all. Under Train Your Model, this is where you specify the output table, which is the case table, and the output field, category, and priority. This is also where you specify the input table and the input field, input field as description and short description. Let's have a look at our model in action. Now we'll send an email with an attachment to the fictitious support address. In addition to predicting field values, we can also perform categorization using four base languages, English, French, German, and Spanish. We could, for example, send the email in Spanish. Note, we aren't simply detecting the language, we're actually interpreting the text of the email in Spanish to perform the categorization. By categorizing a Spanish email as, say, Spanish help desk versus Spanish billing support, for example. Now let's look at the case in Configurable Workspace. Here we see the model can predict and or recommend field values based on extracted data from the email and attachments. The service desk was set to vendor support. The priority is high. The category as issue, say versus feature or question. We could have also interpreted the case's language and predicted or recommended field values based on reading of the email's text. With case categorization, you can auto-categorize emails and cases using pre-trained models. You can reduce routing rules and the need to manage multiple inboxes. You can use content of emails or attachments to categorize a case based on configured fields in multiple languages. Check out case categorization for email and attachments, an exciting new feature in Tokyo. Thank you.